All right, well, as we continue to hit triple digit temperatures, students at several Valley schools say their classrooms are hot thanks to air conditioning problems. Now, Fox 5 has been keeping an eye on this issue, and as schools like Coronado High School are still holding classes with the AC out sometimes, Mike Allen joins us live to tell us more about what parents are saying about it. Good morning, Mike. Hey, good morning. So uh, in the uh, drop off rush that just happened before classes started just a few minutes ago at seven o'clock here at Coronado High School, I was able to talk with some students and some parents as well. Some parents actually mentioned it was the first time they heard about it. Some of them said that their kids have been talking about it all school year, which is about a month old now. So uh, some of my takeaways from what students told me, uh, they said that usually this problem is worse coming out of weekends. So yesterday, for example, they said uh, several classrooms. Actually, when they say this happens, it affects all classrooms. But they said certain ones in particular were pretty noticeable yesterday. They say portable classrooms and upstairs classrooms are the ones that are affected most. And to that end, long weekends, like for example, Labor Day weekend, that was especially brutal, students tell me. And they say that's because the heat, or I should say the AC, is turned off over the weekend. So after a long weekend, it can be pretty tough, students say, to uh, kind of get back into things. Uh, and certainly on Monday, they noticed that as well. Uh, now, they do say the problem usually is fixed by midday. And afternoon classes are generally a little bit better. But one teacher that we talked with at a local middle school that's very nearby here, said he's worried about what happens if the AC is not able to be fixed. We have 1,500 students here. Like, that's a lot of students, and like, if it keeps going out like this, I mean, what's, what's the game plan? If it goes out and they can't fix it, are they going to move 1,500 students somewhere else where the AC works? Now, again, students tell me this issue happens usually after a weekend, usually a long weekend. Again, Labor Day, they say, was especially difficult. Uh, and the parents have also said uh, they've been, at least half of them I talked to as they were dropping their kids off, said that they have uh, been aware of this situation. Some of them, they said they were hearing about it for the first time. So it doesn't seem like all students are talking about this when they get home. But one thing to note, you guys, uh, Jason and Kirika, I have heard from a few students that their parents have actually been taking them out of class or at least encouraging students to come home if temperatures are above 85 degrees, which the Southern Nevada Health District requires if temps are above 85, has to be reported to them. And that has happened several times. One uh, teacher at Bob Miller Middle School said 88 and a half degrees was her classroom's temperature last week. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's hard to concentrate when it's that hot, you know, either too hot or too cold. Uh, you know, that's it, it's, it takes a toll. It definitely does. Mm. Yeah, and, and Jason, actually, that is something that students told me. I, I asked them, the about a uh, dozen students that I talked with, I asked all of them, so does this affect your concentration in mm -hmm. class? All of them said yes, yeah. it mm -hmm. definitely does. And uh, it doesn't matter if they're just wearing T-shirt and shorts. Uh, you know, I, I, I can only imagine being on the anchor desk in 88-degree uh, temperatures yeah. in the studio. That, that, that would not be very pleasant. So, so, so yeah. for us to kind of imagine that, that, that's not an easy thing to do to concentrate. And it's happened. You're supposed to be learning about things. Yeah, no, it's, ha it's happened, and it's, it's unbearable. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. All yeah. right, Mike, thank you so much. In fact, I was, I've been here since uh, before electricity. Thank you, guys. Oh, yeah, you've so. been quite the long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, thanks, Mike. people fanning you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>